Coach, you want to start with an opening statement? Yeah, you know, I thought uh, our guys came out today uh, with the right mindset. You know, I told them after the trip to Minnesota, this was the biggest week uh, we've had together. Uh, we needed to come home and protect home. You know, in our program, uh, I don't care who we play, losing is, un it's, it's, it's not acceptable. And losing two in a row is not. And we wanted to come home and write that. And, you know, I was proud of our guys' effort. Uh, I thought we played hard tonight again. That has to be who we are. Um, but, you know, we've got to stop turning the ball over. And we've got to do a much better job of guarding the ball, especially in transition. If, if we can figure those two things out, uh, we got a chance to be good. Uh, but, you know, we had 19 turnovers today. We had 23 assists on 30 main baskets. I mean, that's efficient. Uh, but I, I thought Long Beach State stayed in the game because of our self-inflicted wounds. And, you know, that's been a story. You know, the first game against Minnesota, um, we had, I believe, 18 turnovers. Second game, we had 17. And tonight, we have 19. We've got to fix that. And a lot of that is fixable. Uh, so we've got to get back to work and make sure we're we're doing the things necessary to, to, to calm that down. And you want to touch on the first half's defense and, and how you were able to get that quick start because of stops on the defensive end. Yeah, you know, we you know we have a thing in our program. Uh, we want to get at least seven kills in the game. Uh, I think we had that in the first half. Um, you know, our, our guys really locked into the scouting report, did a great job on and when we play good defense, it, it ignites our offense. And we, we had so many you know moments there where we, we had stops that led to good offense for us. And we've got to continue to do that. I thought in the second half, we started to play the score a little bit. And we didn't come out with that same effort. We caught ourselves and adjusted. But um, you know that's got to be where we hang our hat. And uh, if we do that, the other things will take care of itself. Uh, offensively, you hit 15 threes tonight and nine of the 14 field goals in the second half for three pointers. What was working to get those open looks? Well, I thought, you know, again, Eli, you know, had like six assists, but you could probably add another seven or eight hockey assists to that. You know, when we got him in the post, they really doubled and they got him in a rotation. He did a great job getting the ball out of there. I thought our guys really moved the ball and played unselfishly. Um, and when you're moving the ball, and the ball's hitting the paint and going inside out, your percentages go way up. And, and that's how we, that's where we got to get our threes. We got to get them off post ups, penetration, and, and ball movement. And, and we were able to do that tonight. And Joe Quintana hit 20 points for the first time in his LMU career. He hit six threes. What was working for him and, and how's he been in his uh, return? He's been fantastic. Joe is a really good player, and we need him to, to, to really stretch the defense for us. He can really shoot the basketball. I think Joe's just coming into his own, you know, recovering from his injury, getting his rhythm. Uh, you know, that's two games back to back. He's played extremely well. Um, but if he gets an open shot, I, I feel good about it. And his teammates are doing an exceptional job of, of, of getting him looks. So uh, really happy with, with him, his performance offensively. You know, we were down a man today, Jalen being out. He played a lot of minutes. Uh, so he, he really matured tonight. And, Again, we can't take steps backwards. We got to keep moving forward. Uh, and then off the bench, uh, Quentin Jackson hit double digits for the first time as a lion. What was he bringing as a, as a senior transfer? Well, you know, Quentin really helped us in the second half. We got stagnant and he made a couple big shots to kind of stretch the game back. And that's what we need. We need him to be solid. We need him to make open shots. And, you know, he did a great job. I mean, I think he had four assists to one turnover tonight too as well. So um, if we get that kind of production from him off the bench, you know, that's just another weapon for us. Perfect. Um, anything else you want to add tonight? No, again, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my team, uh, proud of uh, the progress we've made in a seven day window. Um, again, we're nowhere where we need to be. We have a lot of room to get to improve. We have a chance to have a really good basketball team. Um, we've got to fix the things that, that need to be addressed and we got to keep getting better. So if we keep getting better, we'll be where we want to be. And lastly, you've added a game for Monday. Um, quick turnaround to play a team. Um, practice over the weekend to prepare for that? Yeah. So, you know, obviously losing the Stanford game, that was a game we really wanted. But uh, because of all this going on, we had to adjust quickly on the fly. So we, we got to go to Santa Barbara and play a really good Santa Barbara team on uh, a short prep. Uh, we'll start to get to know them tomorrow after we, we put this game away and uh, get ready for them. But they're really good. They're really talented. And they'll be right up there to win that league.
Perfect. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.